with the devaluation in uh, Egypt in November 2016, over 17 and a bit of 18, until shoppers adjusted to the new pricing and navigated uh, the inflation, a lot of brands have missed out on opportunities. However, I would give it out to the uh, snacks of the world in Egypt because they really exploded and they deserve it. So you've got double digit growth in snacking for so many reasons and it's a it's it's a trend. It's not like it's just pumped out because of the for the evaluation. However I can tell you for a fact from a consumption behavior uh, a big bag of chips, whatever the brand is, is actually a side meal. So instead of frying potatoes, instead of having some side veggies, you have uh, one type of uh, rice with sauce or any protein, and then you have a big chips. All right. Now, the thing I'm personally happy with is to see some of the uh, more healthier options even though not promoted well, but still, we're on the right track on that one. But the point is, honestly, if you're not keeping up with the consumer and shopper trends, whether globally or locally, you're missing a lot. The world is going so fast, guys. Trust me, for retailers and for brands, it is so powerful. It's a tsunami.